Hello, how you doing? I'm going to talk about this. Outlaw the billy stick. Now, the billy stick, I couldn't find anything on, on the internet when it was invented. But it was probably invented in the 40s or the 50s. Or 40s, really. And it was built, it was invented for blacks. To beat blacks. Beat them in submission. To brutalize blacks. Okay? That's what, because I never have any white person uh, getting beat by a billy stick in my life. Ever. So the billy sticks were invented for blacks. The whole purpose of the billy stick is to inflict pain, to be brutal, to brutalize people. Okay, that's the whole concept of it. It has nothing to do with law enforcement. It's just for the sake of brutality. Uh, and it needs to be outlawed. Period. Now, if a person is in handcuffs, that's he cannot do but so much. What I don't understand about the police is why don't they, if they're going to handcuff them at the wrist, why don't they handcuff them at the ankles to make sure they don't run? I don't understand that. That would make them really immobile. Now, personally, uh, I have been stopped by the police a few times. <laughs> okay, I have, okay? The first thing I do is I keep my conversation in a low tone of voice. Okay, the first, that's the first thing I do. I talk in a low voice. The first thing I do is lower my voice. I don't even talk this loud. If I am stopped by police, I the first thing I do is lower my voice. I talk in a conversational tone, a very soft conversational tone. I do not get upset. Okay. And I would say that on the stress level, police are 9.5 out of 10. Coal miners, for example, they like 9.7, 9.8 out of 10. Very high stress level. You know, a high school basketball coach is like 3.5 out of 10. Okay, so if I get upset, that's going to increase their stress level. They're going to get upset. So I, one of us has to be quiet. Okay, so I talk. I did not get upset. If I'm wrong, I'm, I'm wrong. I'll deal with it. If I'm wrong about this or wrong about that, I will deal with it. I have dealt with it. The Bible says, I will restrain my mouth with a muzzle while the wicked are before me. I restrain my mouth with a muzzle. I have to restrain myself quite a bit. But that's just the way I do. I restrain myself. I do not get upset because, see, if I get upset and start screaming and hollering, that's going to increase their stress level. And it's going to all be bad. Okay. It's going to either be a lawsuit. It's going to get bad from then on out. So I have to restrain my mouth with a muzzle, number one. I talk in a low voice. I lower my voice. I talk in a conversational tone. Um, now, the way I train mine, I train mine the same way. I tell them, lower your voice. Talk in a conversational tone. Do not start screaming and hollering. I tell them that if he, if the police tells you to raise your arms, raise your arms. Now, I think all you blacks, all you black men, y'all got to have a, a talk with the, with your, um, your children, 12 years old and up. It's to how to handle situ the police, how to handle this. You talk in a conversational tone. Okay. Um, now see, that's what. That's what I. That's the way I do it because it has a domino effect. If I start screaming, hollering, and, and blowing snot, that's gonna get the police upset. Next thing you know, that's gonna be a tragedy or a lawsuit or both. You know, something like that. So that's the way I handle it. I talk in a conversational tone. I don't even talk this loud. I lower my voice. I talk respectfully. And look, police gonna say bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Because I constrain myself. Now, what I don't understand is these fraternities within the police organization. A black fraternity called Scorpions. Ignorant stuff. Now, look, the black fraternities, uh, do they use a billy stick? I don't know. But I know they use a paddle. 
And all it does is inflict brutality. In other words, if you want to be in that fraternity, they're going to beat you up with the paddle. And, and those stupid pledges, they put up with that stuff. They put up with another grown man beating them up with a paddle. Ignorant stuff. Totally ignorant. Now, why they would have a fraternity within the police department, I don't know. Next thing you know, they're going to have a Hispanic fraternity, which they already have. California already has it. Then they're going to have a white fraternity within the police department. It's ignorant stuff. It has nothing to do with law enforcement. It has nothing to do with solving crimes. Okay, so what they need to do is outlaw the billy, billy stick. Please spread the word. Help me to help the public in outlawing the billy stick. Bye.